And now, Storm Tracker Weather with meteorologist Eric Ash. High pressure is in full force and that's clearing our skies, giving us a lot more sunshine over the past couple weeks compared to that. And no precipitation, no cloud coverage expected, just maybe some thin cirrus out there and then a light breeze. So mostly sun with a light breeze expected today. And those breezes will be between five and 22, gust up to 22 miles per hour, especially for the Eastern Highlands. And then some portions of the Snake River Plain, the Arco Desert area, that's what we can and expect for today. Temperatures bumped up significantly compared to yesterday. 59 is the high temperature for both Pocatello and Idaho Falls and also to include American Falls as well. We've got more 60s coming too tomorrow and for, and besides today. Southeast Highlands we've got 50s and then 48 for Soda Springs, Montpelier. For the Central Mountains we've got 60s for Salmon and Chala. Salmon getting up to 67 and then for the Eastern Highlands mostly sun, gentle winds and temperatures in the 40s and low 50s. 51 for Island Park and Dupe. Du Bois. For the overnight hours, Snake River Plain staying with mostly clear skies. Not so many locations getting below freezing this time. Finally, Pocatello and American Falls will get down to 38 and Idaho Falls will get down to 33 degrees. Only a couple places, a few locations getting below getting below freezing. For the Southeast Highlands, more locations getting below freezing. We got Lava, Downey, Soda Springs, Montpelier all below freezing here. Income's got a low temperature of 34. Preston at 35. Central Mountains hanging around the freezing point for some locations. Chalice Mackey Arco at 34. Only Ledor and Stanley getting below freezing. And then for the Eastern Highlands, definitely below freezing in the 20s. All in the 20s except for Yellowstone just barely reaching 20 degrees at 19. The low for Yellowstone is 19. For tomorrow, mostly sunny skies. We'll have a pickup in the breeze in our wind speed. Temperatures more so in the 60s here. Only St. Anthony in the 50s at 59. For the Southeast Highlands, we've got 60s for Preston and Downey, both at 62 degrees. And then when it comes to late PM hours for the Central Mountains, we're gonna see the arrival of a low pressure system that's going to mark the beginning of, of precipitation for all of us for the next few days. But that's going to be for the Central Mountains starting tomorrow night. Eastern Highlands, mostly sun, temperatures in the 50s, Yellowstone at 48, a little cooler on that side. Here's your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. We're under high pressure for the next couple of days. Pocatello 59, as well as Idaho Falls. Blackfoot has a high of 58 degrees. Breeze will start to pick up tomorrow, but especially on Thursday and Friday. We'll see the arrival of a low pressure systems currently off the coast right now, but it will dip south and then creep upwards and then it'll affect the central mountains starting tomorrow night. And that will be the beginning of this low pressure system giving East Idaho, West Wyoming precipitation for the next few days heading into the weekend. And even on Saturday, we may see some snow for higher elevations and if the temperature is cold enough for Yellowstone, snow on Saturday expected also. Back to you, Deanne.